Hi, my name is Mandy Smith. I'm the Southwest Region Education Specialist for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. In this video, we'll talk about some of the characteristics that can help you when you're looking to identify a species of fish that you caught. One thing you'll want to look at are the fins. Pennsylvania fish can be grouped into two different types, spiny rayed fish and soft rayed fish. To tell which is which, you'll want to look at the dorsal fin which is the fin that's on the top of the fish. Spiny rayed fish have two dorsal fins or one dorsal fin that's split into two sections. The first dorsal fin or section has rays that are hard and spiny. The second dorsal fin or section have soft rays. Bass are an example of spiny rayed fish. The yellow perch is another example of a spiny rayed fish and bluegill and other types of panfish such as pumpkin seed. Soft rayed fish have just one dorsal fin and it's soft. They may also have another type of fin called an adipose fin which is a uh, soft fatty fin between the dorsal fin and the tail. Okay. So trout are an example of a soft rayed fish. Other examples include a white sucker and the catfish. Speaking of catfish, they have another feature that is useful in identifying fish. They have these long whiskers, which we call barbels. Okay? And barbels are soft and fleshy, and they're sensory organs that help them to taste and smell for food in the water. The barbels on a catfish are usually pretty long. Another couple examples of other fish that have barbels would be a common carp. They have little barbels there and the bowfin. All right. So you can see that the barbels on these fish are much shorter than those on the catfish. The scales are another feature to look for in fish. Some fish, like this common carp, have scales that are large. And some fish, like the trout, have very small scales. And there's a lot of fish that have scale sizes in between that. Now the large scales provide a lot of protection for the fish. And it's kind of like having body armor. It's a lot of protection, but it slows the fish down. Whereas the small scales allow the fish to move more quickly in the water, but they offer little protection. The catfish actually has no scales on its body and they can actually get oxygen through the skin as long as it's wet for quite some time. They also have taste buds that are all over that scaleless body that they have. So catfish are very cool, aren't they? Body shape is another characteristic that you can look for when identifying fish. Is the body, for example, round and flattened from side to side, like that of a bluegill or a sunfish? Is it more long and streamlined like a torpedo, like a trout has? Is their body f flat on the bottom, like on a catfish or a suckerfish? Sculpin, those that go on the bottom have flat bodies. Um, does it have a hump on its back, like this freshwater drum has? Or maybe it has a long snake-like body, like an American eel. There are many characteristics that you can look at when you're trying to identify fish. Other things you can look for are the shape of the mouth, you can look at the shape of the tail fin, and you can look at different colorations or markings that are on the fish. Do you want to give it a shot? Let's see. So when you look at this fish here, what characteristics do you see that could help you to identify it? When I look at it, I first see it has a long streamlined body. I see it has just one dorsal fin. So it's a soft rayed fish. Its tail has a fork in it. And its mouth, it has a big mouth, but it's flattened kind of like a duck bill. So we call it a duck bill mouth. 
And finally, I see that it has stripes going up and down, vertical stripes, almost like a tiger. And this is a tiger muskie. We'll practice with one more. What characteristics do you see on this fish that could help you to identify it? I see that it has two dorsal fins and that it is a spiny rayed fish then. You can see those sharp spines. Okay. I see its tail is slightly forked. Um, I can see it has a dark horizontal bar going along the body. And it's kind of hard to see in this picture. It would have a better time if its mouth was open. But this fish has a big mouth and its mouth will open up all the way back to the eyes or even farther than that. And this is a largemouth bass. So when you're looking to identify a new fish that you caught and you're unsure what it is, some of the things you can look for are the type of fins that it has. You can see if it has barbels or not. You can look for the size of the scales. Are they big scales? Are they little scales? Maybe you've caught a catfish and it has no scales to it. Um, body shape is another characteristic. Is it round? Is it streamlined and long? Um, you can look at the shape of the mouth. You can look at the shape of the tail. And you can look at the colorations or markings on the body.